Hello everyone, Blue Six Tarot here again from bluesixtarot.co.uk to do another weekly forecast for the following week of the 26th of November to the 2nd of December because it's almost that time of year. Almost that time of year. I have no decorations up at the moment because it's still November at the time of recording. So, today, I sh uh, for this video, I'll be using the Casanova Tarot. Now, those of you who've been following me on Twitter have seen me put these up one uh, as a card a day. So, as I said, I think I said in my last video, the cards that are my card of the day will be featured in the video section. So, those of you who don't know, um, have not seen these videos before, um, this is the weekly forecast. So, Monday to Tuesday, Wednesday to Thursday, uh, Friday and the weekend. Now, if you don't forget to like, share and subscribe and hit that little bell because stuff like that makes it a lot easier for people to see these videos and also to kind of show your appreciation. If you like these, you know, um, I, I appreciate getting the odd follow here and subscription. It, it, it makes it feel worthwhile. Right, so we start Monday and Tuesday. I should also do a content warning. This is not; these are not safe for work cards. So if you're watching this at work, don't. You might get into trouble. So Monday and Tuesday, we have the Nine of Swords. Um, you can see where you might get into trouble for these. So it's quite strange because the Nine of Swords is um, because these are very positive cards for lack of a better term, they're very, there's very few negative feeling cards. So this one's quite interesting because the nine is usually someone who's in a very negative state, like uh, nightmares and stuff. But uh, this seems to be quite the opposite. So um, I'm not gonna bring it closer to the camera. I think we can see well enough. Um, so it looks like it's kind of, Kind of like a dream come true, really. Like the res resolution of a conflict, and it's or the feeling of the the positive aftermath of a conflict. So, if you've had a bad weekend, you, you're starting the week off on a strong foot, on a strong footing. It's. I don't want to say getting what you want. Because I say that a lot in these videos. It's more of getting your just desserts for the toil of the previous of the previous week, and you're reaping the benefits of that week. Now these aren't these aren't the easiest cards to read, just because they they do kind of vary from the main. Anyway, so you've got the Wednesday and Thursday. Which is the Page of Cups or the Knave, depending on which Knave. That's not the Knave. Um, yeah, Knave. Uh, the Page or the Knave. So, um, for the middle of the week, it's more about it's more about it's more about learning and putting not necessarily not putting the skills you know. But adding to the skills, it, once again, it has this feeling of it has a feeling of work. So you're you're fully aware. You you you. It's a thirst for knowledge, and it has the feeling that you should not not necessarily should, but you're working you're working towards a new goal, and you've got a good idea of how to how to get there. So you need to learn more about it so you can apply that to your current state so you already know you know what you you know where to you've got an idea of where to go but you know there's a few things you need to learn before you can proceed so for Friday and the weekend these haven't been too bad actually uh, you've got to be eight of coins or pentacles depending so hmm not necessarily satisfaction. Actually, I'll, this one I will put up closer because it's not the easiest to see from that distance. Um, 
Yeah, it does have that kind of a traditional classic version of honing your skill and kind of repeating new things and improving on what you repeat. Oh. Sorry, it's quite early in the morning for me recording this. I can't remember if you said that. Sorry, it's very early in the morning. Um, so, I'd say that it's kind of the weekend would be, your Friday and the weekend will have that feeling of um, repetitive learning. Um, so you just kind of just keep going and going, and each time you go, you just improve. So it's uh, education by repetition and a lot of practice. So it shows more that what you do pick up. It's there's not a lot. Excuse me. There's not a lot to pick up. But the best way to learn it is just to keep doing it until you get it perfect. So it's a very kind of precise, um, precise learning. And that's that's pretty much it. So, <clears throat> so the so the summary of this is once again kind of getting what you deserve and getting the rewards, reaping the rewards of what you've sown. Learning new skill, learning new skills, and repeating them, and honing the skills of what the new things you've learned. Now, um, I hope that I uh, hope that goes down well for some of you. I have, um, I have been getting. People, thank you for the positive feedback some of you have been sending. As I said, it it makes it worthwhile. It feels like I'm not just doing this for the sound of my own voice. So, um, th uh, thank you for all the positive feedback I've been getting the last few weeks online and in real life so that's always quite good um also don't forget to once again like share subscribe press the bell etc uh because the more you do that then people will then more people then you'll be able to be get notifications when i upload videos and more people will come across these videos as well <sighs> oh, sorry. oh so sorry so um, it, it it helps you help it, it helps me to help you essentially. And um, don't forget to follow me at Blue Six Tarot on YouTube and also check out my um, website, bluesixtarot.co.uk. And you enjoy your week.